So I wanted to come out here so you guys can see my hair in natural daylight. We'll go into the sun. Do this, leave it up for me. Take a trip to the stars. I can show you it all. And a bunch of bugs in my hey what is up you guys this is your girl bear and i'm coming back to you with another video do i have a no that's something on the camera okay um yes yeah, so i'm coming back to you with another video today and in this video uh, I'm gonna be telling y'all how I slayed my front toe. I don't know if you guys saw the intro, but I freaking finally learned how to slay my front toe. And I am gonna come to y'all and give y'all that information so you don't change so you can go ahead and slay your shit too, girl. So, oh, um, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just super happy because it looks so freaking good. As you saw in the clip that I played, it's just the lighting hit it, it's just everything, just oh. So now I can just go and slay all my other ones. Um, so yeah, um, we'll go ahead and get into the video. I don't think I was talking in this one. Um, but hopefully you guys can see what I did and got the technique down. I did get this technique from somebody else on YouTube. I will try to include his link in the description box. Hopefully I can find it in my history. Because the way he did it, it's just like the way he did it, I never would have thought to do it that way. Um, so I'm going to stop talking y'all. So I'm just super excited. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so just to get started here, I'm just going to pull all of the hair back so that way it's out of the way. Position the front to where I want it to be. I have one clip in the front on my frontal, so um, yes, I have to make sure that's centered perfectly. And then you're going to want to go ahead and get your gel. I'm using the Gots to Be Glue gel, the one in the black bottle. I was warming it up with the back of that um, coloring brush. Um, I tried to go in with it and realized that it wasn't working, so I then went um, with the back of my um, toothbrush. Um, you don't want to use your fingers or you want to try your best not to use your fingers, which is what I was trying to do. Then I sprayed it with the holding free spray and then of course dry. Then I do it again and I just work in that little section. Now the biggest key to this that I've noticed um, is basically uh, you want to do it in sections. So you see how I'm starting at that on well, your left. Um, I think that was my right. But I'm starting on one side and I'm just going to move after I get one side done. See, now I'm starting on that like middle section in the front. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead. The reason why I went on ahead and started that section was to let the other section get a chance to dry um, a little bit more versus what I've already done blown drying. And that's pretty much it. Once I finish drying that a little bit, I'll start working on that section there um, that we put the glue on first. And I'm pressing it down with the back of the comb. Remember, try your best not to use your fingers. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And I just kind of swirl it around. Yep, just like that. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. The biggest thing is moving in sections, taking your time, allowing the section to get a little tacky. A lot of times I see where I mess up is if I don't let it, um, if I don't let it get tacky enough um, and it's still kind of like wet, that'll mess it up too because my frontal will start to slide back um and not dry right where i want it to be so you want to make sure that it's tacky um a little bit tacky before you start to press it down and just take your time and now that i've gotten that side pretty much done i'm working on the other side um i took a picture i'll try to make sure to include that picture but i just want to take a picture of how it was drying down and how it looked initially um but of course before i start doing the baby hairs and everything so um we're going to start on that section and once again we're just going to take our gots to be glued gel we're going to warm it up on the back of our hand and apply it with the back of the toothbrush that's just the way i prefer y'all better not come for my toothbrush because it's old i didn't feel like getting a new one hit it with the spray and then apply it i usually do two to three applications um put the gel on spray it blow dry it put the gel on spray it blow dry it um the i think on here i only did twice um so once i get that one pretty dried i work down on that bottom section so in total i do four sections going across my head um when applying the gel and i but i like to work in pairs 
um so yeah guys that's pretty much it it's really really easy um it's like i said I, it's the exact thing i've been doing this entire time it's just that now instead i'm doing it um like in little pieces and also a lot of times the ear flaps don't stay down those are like the very last things i do um so i have to wait for that side to kind of dry down first and then i'll do the air flap on that one as well but yeah y'all that's pretty much it um i'm gonna let y'all go ahead and watch the rest of this and if i need to comment anything i'll just pop back in <music> Okay, so now that we're pretty much done and it's dried, I just take a wet cloth and I just go along the hairline. This is to get rid of, rid of any of the dry, um, dried up glue. What happens if you don't, you'll see like a little plastic kind of outlining around your head. So now I'm just parting, parting it, looking at everything. Right there is a clip, so that's why you can't see the parting for that one. But I'm just parting everything else to see the flow of the frontal and how it looks. And everything looks seamless. Um, it look, came out perfect. I love this frontal. This is from Yummy Hair Extensions. Um, I do have a review up on that. And that is the hair um, straightened out and pressed out. And I had to go back and re-glue the sides. So what I'm just showing you guys is just going around trying to get rid of some of that makeup buildup from that with the glue and the makeup. Um, I could have went in a little bit better than that, but I was just kind of too lazy. So now what I'm doing is laying my baby hairs. I take um, whatever edge control I have, doesn't matter. And I just basically lay down my baby hairs. Like that's pretty much it. Um, I kind of like this. Uh, if you don't like baby hairs, if you kind of like swoop it to the back, that's kind of what I'm trying to do to not make it look so like it's like, I don't know how to explain it but yeah <laughs> i'm kind of just trying to like swoop it into the hairline and not like really have baby hair baby hairs kind of sort of kind of trying to cheat um but yeah you can do that as well i just like to take any kind of edge control um you can do it with the got to be glue gel to make it like hold and make it kind of um kind of a set thing in your hair but i just didn't do it so i wanted to come out here so you guys can see my hair in natural daylight We'll go into the sun. my frontal and as you'll see you'll see girl you'll see girl it's slight even with the baby hairs usually i don't like baby hairs but i did a little shump shump slight so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope these are some good tips for you guys to slay your uh, your hair um this is the yummy hair and this is a yummy frontal um i will be doing a re updated review on this hair so stay tuned for that and also if you are feeling this look um this is just a really glowy summery i know summer's coming to an end but this is my kind of everyday summer go-to look it's really simple and fast um whew. really simple and fast but I'll have that video as well. So that's three videos for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. I will see y'all in my next one. Peace.